Welcome everybody to Hat Hole Home Video. I saw Godzilla Minus One, and it was great. It was really great. Um, but here's the thing that really surprised me most. Um, it was a movie obviously sold on the Godzilla city destruction. I mean, that's what the trailer was, and it was awesome. And you go and see the movie, and you start liking people. You start liking the characters. You start connecting with the characters. You start feeling for the characters. And uh, all of a sudden, all that Godzilla city destruction that you were so excited for, that you cheered for in the trailer, becomes something very different. Um, Godzilla, you dread his inevitability in this movie. Um, you really care for the characters and you want them to find happiness and find peace. And it's, you know, it's, there's so much grief and guilt and struggle, um, but hope that as these characters are pulling their lives back together and dealing with their demons and dealing with, you know, the war that's still going on inside them, even though the, the military war is, is over, um, you start feeling that dread of, oh, all that stuff I saw in the trailer, Godzilla leveling these cities, um, that it's coming. And that was something I did not expect going into this movie. That idea that the thing that I was most excited for would be the thing that I dreaded the most and would be the thing that I was wishing wouldn't happen so that these characters could have a happy ending. Um, it was really cool. It was really well done. Um, movies are storytelling. And you can tell all different kinds of stories, all different kinds of ways. And, you know, I was prepared to be told a story about, and this is probably just conditioning, especially from the last decade of American or Western Godzilla movies, but I was, you know, sort of prepared to be told a story about a uh, cool giant monster and how awesome it is that it's destroying these cities and, you know, just like a, a badass story. Um, and instead what I got was a, a story that really does a great job of framing the monster as this inevitable force that is coming for these characters that you care about. And it's really not a story about that force. It's a story about these characters. It was really well done. It was a really well-told story, um, surprisingly emotional and moving. Um, again, not exactly what I was expecting, but I'm no stranger to emotional movies. I like emotional movies. I like all kinds of movies. I think, I think every, again, I like being told stories, and you can be told all different kinds of stories. I like connecting emotionally um, with a story. Uh, Rudy when uh, they're not going to let Rudy dress for the final game and all all of the team goes into the coach's office and they put their jerseys on the table. You know? that There's a little something. It's like, what is that? Oh, I do have a heart. Um, contrary to what most people think. Um, I like emotional stories. I was really invested in this movie. Uh, it, it's It's funny that in the past... 
such a big complaint of, you know, maybe the new era of Godzilla. That big complaint is, oh, there's not enough Godzilla in this Godzilla movie. There's just the right amount. And again, you dread his approach. You would, you dread his inevitability. But um, it's so well done. It never goes too long without reminding you of Godzilla. It's smart. Um, I, I'm not going to get into spoilers in this video, but the the plan that is hatched to deal in some way with Godzilla is a very cool, smart plan. Um, I love... It also deals with a lot of um, camaraderie in the end. It deals with, um, you know, people deciding that the powers that be don't know and are unwilling to deal with this problem and someone's got to deal with it and who you're going to call. Um, I love that idea of the misfits and sort of the people who have been in this sort of terrible place in post-World War II Japan, um, you know, they band together and they figure it out. I, I, it's, it, it just hits all those beats. I love misfit characters doing good. I love, you know, David and Goliath kind of stories. I like winning against all odds. Um, and I like happy endings. Um, not to say that this movie it, it has exclusively happy endings for everybody. Um, again, no, no major spoilers, but um, it kind of handles the reality of war and of these sorts of Im immense destructive forces. Um, it handles those things with some amount of r realism. Um, it's not a fairy tale. Uh, but yeah, it was really great. I highly recommend everybody that can uh, go support it in the theaters. It's doing really well. It's in a somewhat limited release, but it's, it's um, really, I think word of mouth is spreading pretty fast that that this is a movie worth seeing. It's worth seeing on the big screen. It's worth seeing on the biggest screen you possibly can. Um, I, I agree with that in terms of support. I don't know if I totally agree with needing to see this on the big screen, just in terms of enjoying the movie, because so much of this movie is uh, I enjoy the, the human side. I enjoy the heart. And you don't need to like the heart doesn't need to be seen on the big screen uh, the spectacle I'm sure is aided is even more spectacular for being on the big screen you do get that sense of scale uh, some of that city destruction the way it was filmed um, or you know the way the CG was done it, it, you do feel like you're there in, to some degree. It, it, it was done in a very smart way where you get that tightness in your chest, you know, when a building is falling or people are up on top of a building and you're sort of seeing things from their view. It's, it's stressful. Um, so yeah, there you go. I would, I would highly recommend you see it, but not necessarily maybe for the reasons that you would expect for having seen the trailer. But it is well worth your time. Two hours flew by. It was, uh, it was really great. That's all I really have to say about it. Once again, I'm. Everybody loves this movie. I'm. I am just a voice in the chorus singing this movie's praises right now. Um, it's really cool, actually, to see so many people. Uh, Un uniting is uh, probably not the right word because people right now can't unite about anything. But I do appreciate the fact that so many people on YouTube, you know, looking at people's reviews, so many people who are on such like polar 
opposing sides of so many other issues, everybody likes this movie. And I don't think they're coming together to like this movie, but at least people on their separate sides of all their things, at least they're enjoying something, the same thing at the same time. And maybe someday that will let them get a little closer to each other. Who knows? Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching everybody. It's had whole home video, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.